Today, the family of Jamal Gonsalves met with Attorney General Peter Narona to learn where the investigation into the incident is expected to lead. And that's where we find 12 News reporter Sheena Lashuto, who joins us now live from outside the AG's office. Sheena, what is the family saying tonight? Well, the family's lawyer spoke to us moments after the meeting ended, and he's calling it a, quote, very good meeting with the AG's office, and he tells us it was really informative. Now, as Brandon just said, Jamal's condition remains the same. He is still fighting for his life at the hospital. But when it comes to this investigation, attorney Jude Carrison, he is the lawyer representing the family. He says right now they're in the fact-finding phase, meaning investigators are still gathering evidence on this. He also says the family was able to tell the attorney general's office what exactly they're looking for in this. We respect the attorney general and the state police and we have full faith in them to complete this investigation, but we're also doing whatever we can to find out what we can. So we're asking if anybody is out there with any information around the incident, what led up to the incident, what happened after the incident, to please contact us. If you saw it, if you have video, if you have pictures, anything, we want to hear from you. We want to talk to you. Now, just following up on that, the lawyer says, you know, sometimes for whatever reason, people don't want to come forward to the police for whatever reason that, you know, they have. So that's where he can step in. He can hear whatever information you have to provide. Of course, we will have much more on this coming up live at 6 o'clock, including what the family had to say about last night's protest. For now, we're live in Providence. I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News. The family of the young man injured in a moped crash that may have involved a Providence police cruiser met with the state attorney general a short time ago. This afternoon's meeting followed another night of protest over what happened to Jamal Gonzalez Sunday. 12 News reporter Sheena Lashuto begins our team coverage. The AG's involvement in this investigation because they say that means it will stay a fair investigation. They are welcoming that there are different people looking in on this so that they get a fair investigation like they believe Jamal deserves. Now, we were there as the family arrived here in Providence. They were inside the AG's building for about 45 minutes. According to the family lawyer, the family was able to tell the attorney general's office what exactly they're looking for. They were calling it a, quote, really good meeting that was informative. Um, it's Right now, it's in the fact-finding uh, stage for, for everybody. Uh, you know, the state police and the Providence Police Department are gathering their side of it and they're sharing it. Um, and so we're doing the same and trying to find anything. Finally, just uh, to note regarding the protests that have been happening at night around Providence, uh, you know, the family has been consistent in, uh, in saying that they don't condone any of the violence, any of the destruction. They uh, encourage people to protest and voice themselves, but. Uh, if you do not see one of these people, a family member, at any of the demonstration, it is not endorsed by the family. Now, once again, the family lawyer says this investigation is still in the fact-finding phase. Everyone is still looking for evidence. That means they are asking that if you are out there somewhere, you have video, you have pictures, maybe you are a witness, if you know anything, they are please asking that you come forward and provide either them or the police or the lawyer that information. We're live in Providence. I'm Sheena Lushuto, 12 News.